Oh shoot, I'm running late to waffles and coffee. I was supposed to be like, uh, actually we might make it. We may make it in time. We may make it. Oh wait, there's Buck. I'm gonna beat Buck. I'm at least gonna beat Buck. Uh, and uh, Jake's there already. He's eat oh, he's starting to eat without us. Uh, I gotta figure out a place to park this Big Tex too because I brought the Big Tex along with me. I'm just gonna take a left hand turn and pull in here. They have a park, a spot to park trailers? Okay, I think for now what I'll do is I'm just gonna pull right here. There we go, okay. Right there. Nice. Hey, what's up, man? I was just sitting there uh, enjoying a coffee. I saw you pull on by. Yeah, I saw you already started. Oh, there's uh, there's Buck, too. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I'm sorry we're late, dude. My bad. Oh, no, it's all right. Yeah, Buck can't park. Oh, man, he's almost scraping that car over there. <laughs> Holy crap, what dude. What is that spot for? <laughs> yeah, just dude. Squeeze in between two people. Like. <laughs> Holy crap. Buck, <laughs> man, you barely fit there. Oh, yeah, I already know. I always just like to make the. That's how I made the, my driver's instructor mad when I took my test. I just parked right between <laughs> two vehicles, and he's like, you had the entire parking lot to choose to park, and you parked between two vehicles. Yeah, Buck, you're just right on time. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Early bird. I think I saw you going through town, man. I didn't, yeah. All I saw was just this, like, blind oh, Watch bolt. out, watch out. Oh. Oh. Who's this, oh. Who's this guy I think he is? Who's this? Hey, hey, back it off, Sonny. He is pretty big, dude. Okay, we might want to watch out. All right, so let's grab hey, us some. How you doing? Uh, right, totally. What are you um, What are you guys ordering? Uh, I think I might get the uh, farm boy special. It's a uh, two eggs over easy, a uh, couple slices of bacon, and five flapjacks. Jake, what well, about I'm you? I'm just having a just having a liquid breakfast here. My coffee is all okay. I need. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna get the giant waffles. Oh, all right, their specialty. Mmm. Oh man, that was expensive but delicious at the same time. You guys get? <sighs> do you get? Were you, you guys get everything planned this spring so far? Uh, no, no I still no. got a couple. I I got a few fields I still got to do. I got, no, yeah. I got to get some lime done, and I have to do a little bit more cultivating yet. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. How about you. Well, okay. I haven't started at all, so <laughs> I was gonna say if anybody Yikes. wants a part-time job this spring like if anyone wants to help out man i would take the help i can help you out i don't have a big operation so you'd help at the time okay yeah. well today today i was wanting to get started cultivating because we have potatoes in the land i bought the farm plant potatoes and i don't want to i just want to rip those up and so if you want i actually have to pick up uh my cultivator from buck today but i got the 8970 if you want would you be down to run the 8970 all day yeah definitely okay yeah yeah that'd be good how much uh what's good 13 14 bucks an hour sound good that's great to me okay okay i have to get the planner we have to get implements today and then i gotta get i want to get some of the pasture cleared out but buck here won't let me rent the dozer another day buck. well i mean you only paid well you still only paid the 1800 and i had another guy who came in yesterday he's like mm. i need this dozer so badly we need to get it for get some road construction i'm like Okay, I <laughs> he only rented it for a day, so I only I need it. That I need that dozer, well, Buck. I'm I can't yeah. do that. That one I can't budge on. Okay, so if if you need a dozer that bad, I mean my my granddad's got one just sitting out in the trees that we haven't used in a while. It's pretty nice. I what is maybe it? buy it from him. Is it cat? Is it cat? Yeah, it's a oh I don't know the burn or the numbers. It's a cat. It's like a 2013. 2013. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, it... about four thousand forty five hundred hours probably somewhere around there. I'd I'd come take a look at that. Do you yeah, know? You do you have any idea down. of what he wants? Or are you gonna you gotta talk to him? I'd, I'll probably have to stop into his house and make and just ask. But I'm sure he'll sell it. Yeah, yeah. It's sitting on the trees. If you want to come down like today, even we'll take a look at it. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's do it. Okay. So, and then Jake, I'll follow you to your place. All right, man. Oh, look at Buck just pulling out in front of me right there. <laughs> oh man, Buck. He's all over the road, man. A little too much coffee this morning. Oh, what's Buck doing? He's pulling into that dealership there. You know what? I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna follow Buck. We'll see what he's up to. Buck, you looking at a truck, man? Yeah, I mean, I, I saw. I heard about this thing. We were thinking about possibly trading in our Dodge. Uh, they said that they were talking about this uh, 2017 250. Oh, um, the aluminum did it. Yeah, um, we. That's a sharp truck, dude. Yeah, we um, we're. They're saying that we can get a plow mount for it, but right now, I mean, it's not really close to winter obviously in the middle here in the <laughs> middle of late spring uh but we were really thinking possibly about trading in that dodge for this dude i mean i'd have to it, go man. in there and chat with the do guy it. i mean i'm a dodge fan but this is uh this is a sharp truck dude let me just see, see if they left on lock 
Ooh. Oh, it's got power. Hey, dude, it's got power folding steps, too. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah. Wow, it is nice in here. Got the sunroof, too. Ooh. Wow. Hey, maybe I need to trade in the Ram, too, for a Ford. Fuck, I want to see this new Ford at the dealership when I come back later today. Well, we I want to see it because I got to pick up that right. cultivator. And heck, hey, oh, if you buy this, you could pull the cultivator back with this. I have to head to Jake's farm. So I'll All see right, you later, see you, man. man. See you, bud. Well, I think this is Jake's place. I think it is. I'm going to pull in here. Hopefully he's around. I was, I was, I got caught talking to Buck forever, um, but Jake should be here. Oh, this guy's dog out. Okay, we'll knock on his door. Er, that's his back door. Okay. In the hey. back side. Oh, oh, there you are. Jake, I, what's I'm up, man? I'm over here. Okay. <laughs> Is... All right. Uh, but I went in and I asked him uh, what he would want to sell that thing for, and, and he's willing to sell it. Um, he said he didn't know if it would start. It's been sitting there for a little while, but it's right over there across the road in that barn, so we can take yeah, a look yeah. at it if you Let's... want. All right, it's gonna be over here to the right in these trees, tucked away way back. Oh in shoot, here. you guys know I'm in the shed. Oh okay. No. Man, that's a no. big shed too. Oh here oh, she yeah, is. Oh, it's a huge barn. Oh okay. Yeah, well here so she it's is. A, so it's a D6. Yup. Yup. Okay. D6. Uh, 2013, 4,500 hours on it. Uh, I mean it, it's unlocked. Key should be in it. Uh, you can see if it'll start up. I haven't even tried. Yeah, you care if I try it? Yeah. Oh come on. Come on. Come on. There she goes. Oh, yeah. Hi. All right. That wasn't too bad. She fired up. No. So it's got it's a... Fine. It's got a... You, oh, he has a winch on the back, too. Yep. Yep. Blade oh. comes with it. Oh, man. The winch will be perfect because I'm taking down some trees in the pasture. Oh, man. That'll be awesome. Oh, yeah. Well, um, so I'll tell you what. Yeah, what's he asking he said, for? He said he'd like to probably get about 170 out of it. Okay. Uh, I don't know what you were thinking. I was kind of in the ballpark of 150. Um, on 150? this, when I look on Machinery Trader, uh, I was thinking kind of 150 ish. But I, I could, I would do 160 if he's if if he's willing to come down 10 grand. I'd come, I'd come up 10 grand to 160 if, if okay. he would do that. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and make the call there. I'll, I'm gonna say you can take it for 160. I'm pretty sure he'll be happy with that. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. Sounds like a deal, man. Awesome. All right. Well. uh Keys are in it. I, you know, I don't know how you're wanting to get this thing out of here. Okay. Probably not one to drive uh, it. Uh, shoot. I probably should have thought about that when I came here. So it's either... <laughs> oh, this is a D6. I mean, how far am I? I'm, I'm a couple miles from my farm. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, it's either I call... I could call Bach or I could haul this with the Cummins. Mm. I don't know, uh, dude. Uh, I, I really want to... think the Cummins will pull it? I, I think the Cummins will pull it. I don't know if my trailer will be able to handle this amount of weight, a D6. All right, well, 160, it's yours. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure Dad will be happy that it's gone. There you go. There she is. Awesome. Sweet, thanks, man. Yeah, so you're um, you're coming over today, right? Do I still have yeah. you for today? Yeah, when do you want me over there? Probably 30 minutes. I just need to get that cultivator and we can get going. I can get you in the 8970 run that cultivator. Okay, so we have to rush over. Ah, oh, man. I got to rush over to Platte Val Valley to pick up um, the Platte Valley dealership to pick up a uh, cultivator. I got to get a cultivator. Probably want to pick up a planter today, too. I got to get that all. And I said I said for sure I'd buy from Buck, so we got, we got to get going. I think he has that. You know what? I'm gonna need a. I'm gonna, I'm gonna need some type of stump grinder, and hopefully he has that skid loader with the stump grinder. That would be perfect. I'm gonna pull that up on my phone here. See if he has that. Yeah. Let's see if Buck has equipment rentals. I think he still has it available. I'm gonna see if he still has that New Holland. Okay, two hundred five bucks per day. I gotta figure out if if they'll have a stump grinder though. If they have a stump grinder, I wanna rent this skid loader. That was the plan. That's why I brought the trailer. That way we can grind the stumps. Uh, when I'm tearing out those trees, I, I, you, I could tear them out with the dozer. I could tear up the, the stumps with my new dozer, but I, I just, I want to mulch it. And I just want to leave the mulch there. I don't want to make a huge giant hole and have to back bring dirt in and backfill it. It's just not what I want to do. I'd rather just run a stump grinder, just grind those stumps completely. And there goes Jake. Now we got to head off. I don't know. Oh, Jake. I wonder if Jake's heading to the farm already, but I got to run to, uh, we got to run to the dealer quick. Jake's going left. I'm going right. Now, luckily, the dealer is, like, right up the road. Like, a, it's going to be, like, a two-minute drive. Now, also, by the way, I got to mention this. If you guys are wanting a gaming PC, consider checking out Apex Gaming PCs. I got the Squad Plus. I got the Squad, the Squad Plus, and we're going to have the Squad Ultra soon. Also, until the end of August, they have a 10% off discount. And on top of that, you can use code SQUAD for another 10% off discount code at checkout. So, there's technically 20% off right now. Uh... 
Uh, starting on August 31st, they're going to end that temper that original 10% off sale. I will link down below to Apex Gaming PCs in the description. Okay, so I got to pick up a cultivator. Probably pick up my planner. I might as well just purchase my planner now. And then I was also thinking about getting a disc. I don't know. I got to figure out what we need for equipment so far. But there's we, we just got to get this done. I want to be quick. Uh, and I'm just going to take whatever he has pretty much on the lot. Uh, where's, where's he? Okay, we got to figure out. Where's Buck at? Nobody running this place? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Nobody's here right now. What the? What the heck? Oh, hey, Buck got his new truck. Nice. Buck. Gosh darn it. Buck, you got the truck. I did indeed. Nice, dude. Dude, <laughs> nobody was here. I need to buy a cultivator, yeah. man. We got to go. All right. Well, let's get into the office. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. Um, it's gonna, I got like three minutes to buy a cultivator to spend a lot of money here. So I need right. a cultivator. I need a planner and maybe a disc. If you guys have the right disc. Um, uh, I do not believe that we have that, but we do have here. Okay. Let me just, I just had to check something here. Yeah, um, yeah. we do have, oh, get out. Um, we do have a DB, that DB 60 with the Starfire GPS 3000 sitting right over here. What else? Okay. Yeah. What else do you have for planners? Um, the only other one that we have right now for a good option is the fully loaded DB60 over here, which is not the cheapest. Um, that what, or what, we have okay. the uh, okay. Eight, I can't do an eight row. We got to go something bigger. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. The only thing right now that you're going to be able to get that's going to be worth it is this DB60. It's going to be probably going to be your best option. We have this listed at about 220,000. Is this a 2019? Yes, it is a brand new one. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm taking it, Buck. I'll take it. I'll take All it, right. man. I'll take it. So let's get the uh, the only other option that we have for a, I believe you said a cultivator, yeah, was yep. the, our 2410 three section. Three and section. this is listed at about 150. Do you, okay, I got an 89. Do you have, is there any way I could get a five section? Um, Not at the moment. We do not have one. We're still kind of getting some what, stuff Okay, in. Buck, Buck, what if I rented it? Uh, I got to figure out. I kind of want to just rent this for you. Could I lease this? Uh, um, we can get that. We I, can get it set up. You know what, Buck? What, what's it priced at again? 150. 150. I'll take it. I'll take it. I just, I got to get the crop and we need something. So. All right. Um, is there anything else that you're going to need for right now? So I, either that, or I can get this stuff ringed up. Oh, we good. Um, okay. Let's do paperwork. I'll, let's get this puppy paid for. And I got to right. pay. I, okay. Oh, I got to pay for that oh. dozer too. And Buck, could you, um, could you hold a uh, dozer for me? I bought a different dozer. Yeah, because I'll well probably yes, because I have to go pick up your other one that you rented. Yes. That back here. So yes, Buck. Guy. I love you, man. I love you. Nice. Um, is it that one that's down at Jake's place? Did you actually get that? Yep. Yep. I got right. that one. Yeah. Okay. All so right. you'll you can swing down there and load it and then bring it to my farm. Yeah, I'll probably call up Jake just to make sure in case. Um, You're the man, Buck. You're the man. Okay. All right. Uh. All right. We'll get the paper. I'll have to change that. Flip that sign around to say open. Oh, I didn't even see that sign. I, Bach, I didn't even see that sign. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> so let me just get this all typed up here. Um, and that is going to come out to a grand total of 370000 Okay. Of the okay. You, okay. Right. And there you go. All right. Thank you. Um, I got one last thing for you to do, and I need you to sign this paper. Yep. I need your initial here, here. Um, one up here, and let me page, and your signature right there, and everything's good to go. Yep. Gotcha. All right, let's get all this stuff going so that we can get you back out. Okay, so I'm going to pull around here, and then he should be able to load me up. It should be quick, and I'm just going to drop the... I'll probably just back the trailer in right there. Here we go. <laughs> Hopefully he can... We'll see if he's popping wheelies. That's a small skid loader, too. It'll work, though. There he goes. Okay. Um, Here. Push wrap down. Ah, oh, that's fine. You want to scoot your back a little bit so we got more weight over the axles? Just oh, yeah, it. sure. I didn't know. I didn't remember if you were going to haul anything else. Am I better? Perfect. Okay, um, do you want me? Can I just back it up right here then? Park the trailer right there? Yeah, you can do that. That'll okay. be fine. Okay. I'll run the. I'm going to run that? down. Uh, I'm going to run the. Get the Kenworth out of the back. Uh, what else? Do, what do you need? Haul? I'll try to go, go get the bulldozer. I'm going to go get the bulldozer from your farm. And you, then I got to run that 8130 back to you because you didn't give me my duels yet, mister. I need my duels. You never bought them. Did you ever <laughs> tell me on the deal? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, but you hopefully you have All duels right. in stock because we got to put duels we on the 8130. And then I can bring the I can haul the planner back too once I bring the 8130 up to you. Okay, we got to put this tailgate down. Uh, there we go. Tailgate's down. And then I'm just going to back this up. And I think we can just park it here. It's going to be here. Let's see if we can't get this angled. Okay, so I'm going to drop the trailer. There we go. And then uh, tow mirrors going in. 
There we go. And actually, I figured out how to adjust the mirrors. Check this out. It takes me a little bit, but I kind of figured it out. So it says this mirror. I can adjust it for this mirror, and then I should be able to... Okay, so there's that. I want to go up with it. Nice. Okay, now I can switch to the other mirror by hitting... I can explain the, the controls later. There we go. It's kind of slow, but it works. There we go. And, uh, okay. I should probably bring it in a little bit. All right, uh, just letting you know that I uh, I am heading down there, so I will not be in the office. So if you need me anything, just uh, give me a ring. Sorry, what's up, Buck? I heard you. Uh, I was just Sorry. Gonna, I was gonna say um, I'm gonna head down there, get all that stuff situated. I will not be in the office, so that's uh, be back soon. Sign will actually be in effect now. Um, if you need me for anything, just give me a ring. Okay, sounds good. I'm gonna I'm gonna hook onto that cultivator. Okay, well, let's back up and connect to this cultivator. There we go. I'm still getting used to this transmission. If you guys see the drive, like you can see what gear I'm in. If I'm in reverse or forward over there. Oh gosh, he's gonna pull through there. Hopefully he doesn't get stuck like Jake. Oh, he's good. <laughs> I think Jake got stuck just because of the heavy load that was on that trailer. That trailer's really low to the ground. It is called the low boy, but. Okay, we're hooked on and I gotta head to the farm. We gotta, the thing is, is I can't go that fast with this cultivator. It'll be all over the roadway, so we gotta be... Well, I kind of forgot that we need our tow mirrors yet. And so I have my tow mirrors down, but I don't want to flip them up just for this. It'd be kind of nice to have them. We can kind of see it here. It's all good. And seriously, I gotta say, if you guys are enjoying this series, please hit that like button. It, it means so much. Like, seeing the other video, I think the other video, the episode number two, we got like 4,000 likes. And everybody's just like saying I love this series and it's just man is it cool to see that in the comment section I'll like literally refresh the comments like every three minutes and check my phone for a new comment it's just awesome to see I may not reply to every comment but I look at every comment and just it's it's fantastic fantastic to see you guys are loving this series okay we are just pulling in I think these, somebody's here already like they're, they're loading up the dozer already what Oh, okay, so, oh, okay, so Buck's gonna load up. I thought Buck was gonna go take the dozer from Jake's farm and then bring it here and then pick up this on his way back. I don't think Buck is really thinking <laughs> too much because he could have, because now he's gonna have to make a trip back to his, Buck, come on, man, you should, oh, okay. Maybe he's got something else planned out, but because now he's gonna have to take that dozer back to the dealer and then, oh, shoot, Jake's here already. Oh my gosh, man, okay. But anyways, Buck's gotta take that dozer back to his dealer and then he's got to go pick up the dozer at Jake's and then bring it here and then run his truck back to the dealer. Kind of just made an extra trip. Jake, perfect timing, man. Yeah, I, uh, I had to bring the sprayer because I realized I didn't have my truck because I went up to grab the sprayer from the co-op. So that's why <laughs> that's why I'm in a sprayer. <laughs> Dude, hey, if you have extra lime, feel free to spread it on these fields. I'm going to actually need, I, I'll right. probably buy, a, I'll probably, does the co-op rent spreaders and sprayers? Uh, we, we offer custom spreading, so we you can hire us to come out and we'll we'll spray and spread your fields. Okay, I may I'm I'm gonna have to hire you guys for sure then. Once I need sure. spread. All right, so uh, just a update. I did get the uh, got the dozer on the on the trailer, but I will need to extend the the neck on it just for safety stuff. So I might have you guide me around some of these corners in here because the trailer is gonna be about an extra six feet long. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Do you want me to move the truck? You're. I uh, know you should be good. Okay. I'm gonna come around this way. Okay, okay, yeah. Jake, if if you want, you can get in my truck and you can uh, fire up the 8970 and hook it up. I can kind of help you with that too. I'm gonna try to get him around okay. the corners over here. If you want, you can feel, you know how to drive the 8970? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can figure it out. Okay, okay, yeah. So. Yeah, you should be able to make it, oh shoot. Wait, are you gonna be able to make it through here? We have this, I have this grain <coughs> unloading auger over here. I think uh, I should be fine. Okay, I've yeah, had yeah. my fair you, you'll, you'll be out. good. You think you can do it, Jake? Uh, I, I hope uh, so. <laughs> dude. That thing is massive. I uh, just can't get over. I think he's going to hit. I think he's going to scrape the top of that. Uh, oh, he might. Oh, shoot. Come on. Oh, there he goes. He's maneuvering it. He's, he's got it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Barely okay. fits. He made it. He made it. So did you get, you got the 8970 hooked up? Yeah. Dude, I haven't even drove the 8970 much myself, but you, uh, okay, you got it going, nice. Okay, so what I'm thinking is getting this, there's a field here, I can, if you wanna. <laughs> uh, guys. Yeah. No. Did you, you get stuck? You got a Jake. What? <laughs> you got him out too. You pulled a Jake? Yeah. It's, it's, it's I don't feel so bad you. now. It wasn't just me. 
<laughs> yeah, you had one low spot when coming out of the uh, green bin. Okay, over here. hey, I, yeah. hey, uh, I got you. I'm gonna fire up the 420, and I'm gonna. Do, hopefully, that'll be enough to push you. It's got a bucket on the back, so I'll just I, give you a little push. Um, okay. You think so? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, like hey, I'll grade that out strap. with my new dozer once I get my new dozer. All right. Sweet. Um, yeah. Hold up, Jake. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna track. Jake, if you want to head out to the field, it's pretty much just this. You'll you'll be able to tell once you get out there, but it's pretty much just the field around around this main farm here. You'll be able to see it. There, it's okay. actually potatoes in there, and all I need to do is till that up. So if you want to start okay. on that, it's just right around the farm. All right. If you guys can't get that out, uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure Big Behemoth there will will be able to help. Okay. I'll see you, Jake. See it. Okay. So I got to fire up to 4020, dude. I don't know if this is gonna do it, but this is the only thing I have that's like, I mean, I could push it with 897 or something like that, but I think the 4020 will be fine. It'll it'll be fine. So Jake's rolling out over there, and then looks like looks like he's stuck over here. What the heck? <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pull this, dude. I'll have you come look at this. That way you can obviously know an idea of what you're having to grade. Holy yeah, crap. This is okay. A great okay, crap okay. Off. Maybe the 4020 isn't gonna do it. I know. I need this needs work. Holy crap. Okay, um, Buck. Just give her all you got, man. Give her all you actually, got. Actually, I have an idea. Let me. Um, we might need Jake. Get up front here. Possibly. Um, we might be fine with it. I will probably have you push with the truck, if anything. Shoot, you got a flagpole. No, we might just have to give it all we got going around this corner. Okay, let's do that. Jake, the, do you want to see it. if I could push from behind first? See if it'll move it at all? Well, I mean, I would hope Jake can't hear me way down there. there oh, oh, fuck, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't, so you just give her full throttle and I'll start pushing. Once you feel right. a little, like, a little mouse on you, just push it a little bit, th then give her full throttle. I got it. I got it. It's in running gear. All right, full throttle. Yeah, here we go. I just got to give him everything. Come on, 4020. Okay, this is not working. <laughs> This is not working, man. This is not gonna work. This is we are we are. Uh, this isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. Did did you even? Did you feel anything up there at all? Even? No. Did you even start? Like yeah, did you go I started. I tried shit? pushing. Okay. Are you are you actually moving it? Yeah, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't do anything, dude. Um, we might just have to unload Big Bertha and. Let's unload it. Let's unload it. All That'll right. be the easiest. Okay, so I'm gonna fire up the cat. Drive this off, and he should be able to pull it out of here. If not, I can just take the cat and I can push him. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna head all the way down the driveway, pretty much. Okay, so it looks like he wants to unload it there. Okay, that'll, that'll work good. I feel like we need a bigger. He, I feel like Buck needs a bigger semi for this. There's, there's no way this is illegal. <laughs> Buck, I was gonna say we might have to keep her another day on the farm if your semi is stuck. <laughs> well, we might have to. Um, no, but yeah, we got free it charge. You know this, um. I'm gonna drop this off at the uh, the dealer, and then I'm gonna head back to uh, Jake's. I'll grab that dozer. I'll bring it over here. Hopefully, not bottom out, and we can go from there. Okay, sounds good, man. I'm gonna head. I'll probably beat you back to the dealer, and I'm gonna pick up that planter too and bring that back. All right. Yeah, it looks like Jake started the headlands over here. Now the potatoes started coming up. I don't want potatoes. I don't have the harvest equipment for them, but we still have time. It's late spring, and I think I still have time. Well, corn. It's just it's just now getting to plant season where I can plant corn. So that's what I plan on doing, putting corn or beans in here. I got to figure out what. And then I'm going to buy a couple other fields around here. If I can, there's a couple other fields for sale that if I can get it for the right price, I'm going to try to buy it and get planted this spring. So there's Jake. I'm going to go make sure everything's going good with him. And I'll run back to the dealer with 8130. Jake, how's Big Bertha? Oh, dude, it's, it's working great. <laughs> she Fast, sounds good. She sounds hour. good. Just idling here. Oh, it's awesome. I love I love using it. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see. I need to get a I, I need to get a five section cultivator. They only have three section. I really want to get five section because this is going to kind of take a while to till up. Yeah, five section. I mean, it, th this three section is a little small on this thing. I got I was just want to let you know, I got to run to that dealer. I'm going to get the planter mm -hmm. and I should be able to I could maybe start planting this today. If you if you get like half the field done, I'll st I'll start playing on this field then as we go here. Uh, all right. Um, okay. I, I don't know if we're quite right in the in planning season, but you can give it a try. You, him, oh, I, true, true, true. I gotta see if it's. I, I'll I'll see. I'll think about it temperature wise. I actually I have my agronomy stuff, so when you run out there, I'll actually test some parts of the field and I'll let you know. Okay, that'll work. How oh, this is looking so. A lifesaver. Oh, okay, that'll be perfect. <laughs> I'll see you later, Jake. All right. See it. Okay, so let's run back to the farm and hop in the 8130. And finally, we get to run the planter tractor. So I'm going to fire up the 8130 and then head to the dealership and we'll toss duels on this for the planter and then pick up the planter also. Now, okay, a couple people were complaining about these dotted lines. Getting these dotted lines out of here. 
I have to talk to uh, the guys that run the server, Chandler and Pickle, about this to see uh, if we could get those off here. Because I understand what you mean. Some people said it's unrealistic having those dotted lines. I understand. Yeah. It'd be cool to get them off here. Also, by the way, if you want to check out Pickle's video, Pickle's actually recording his view right now. He always does. I'll link his channel down below if you want to check him out. What's nice is this will do 32 mile an hour so we can fly down the roadway with 8130. And I'm kind of getting to the point where I understand the map and the roadways and don't have to even look at my map to see to get to the dealer, which is nice. Listen to the power shift, man. Okay, and so also with my farm, I was thinking about hiring a couple people, like getting a couple people on the server to actually do a lot of the work on my farm. Because what I want this operation to be, holy crap, this tractor is loud once you're full throttle, but I want this operation to be where I kind of make a lot of decision making and I'm like the grandpa of the farm kind of, where I like, you know, maybe hop in the co combine during harvest and maybe run the combine a little bit, some of the tractors, but like as far as actual field work doing it and spending hours doing it i want to let other people do it and so i'm thinking about like putting a forum out or like a, a google form or something out where people can maybe sign up to be an employee on my farm so who knows yet we made it so i think i'm gonna have buck get my duels on and then i'm gonna hook up the planter and just take off of here head back to the farm and maybe try to get planting i hope i can and sometime i gotta pick up that skid letter too dude oh the buck got my duels put on, and I just went with a row crop setup. I didn't want to go too wide of duels. They're kind of more narrow duels. I think it'll work good for the planter tractor. He asked me if I want front duels. I, I didn't think we need, really need front duels. If I get an 8R, I may work it up to front duels. But for now, I'm going to go hook onto the DB60 and then take it back to the farm. Once we get this DB60, man, we can really, put, we can really work some ground. I think this will be good. Because I want to get a lot planted. Basically, it's just a rush to get planted. Because as you can see on seasons, like there's no rolling back. But we're on late spring. And I need to get seed in the ground somehow. Especially if I'm going to be buying a couple of fields. I need to get seed in the ground. So I went with DB60. It's kind of a new, nice, expensive planter. But I needed, I needed the big planter. We're connected. Hoses are good. We should be we should be good to go. Let me turn on hazards. Beacons. There we go. What we'll the road. I love listening to the shifting of this tractor. It's just it's sweet. <laughs> Listen to that. Oh, there's Buck up there. It looks like he dropped off the dozer. Yep, he must have dropped off the dozer on the farm and he's heading back. I think this is gonna be a good setup, it seems like. This 8130 with this planner. I, hopefully the 8130 will be able to pull it. That's the only thing. 8130, I don't know if the horsepower is there. And we made it, no problems. We passed a lot of cars, man. There's a lot of people down this road. So I'm gonna pull in here. Now I've thought about parking it outside. We're not gonna be able to get to planting today, I don't think. I was thinking about parking in the shed or parking outside. And I think for now, I'm just for now, I'm just going to park the planter outside because we're probably going to start planting tomorrow. So there's no real need. What I could do is I guess I could back it in this shed for now just to keep the planter protected. Yeah, for now, this is going to work good. I'm just going to back it in here. We'll see how far we can go back. It's okay if the 8130 sits outside too. Okay, I think we're good. We should be good there. Turn off all the lights. We got her back home. We got, okay, so we got a planter, we got a cultivator, we got a dozer, and Jake should be out working ground right now with the cultivator. I'm curious to see how far he get. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump on top of the bin. We should be able to see him. I'm not seeing Jake right now. That's the first time I climbed this ladder. It's the first time I've been on top of the bin. I wonder where he's at. I can see him through those trees over there. Uh, here, let me pull out my binoculars. Uh, where are we? Uh, come on. Does anybody see Jake? I'm not seeing him. What the? Man, these things have a crazy zoom up here, too. You can see the neighbors. Heck, if they're in the... Oh, you can see the car all the way down the road. Oh, nice. Wait, wait. There he is. There he is. I see him. He is flying across the field, too, with the 8970. Yep. And there goes Jake. Nice. See him working ground. Yeah, this is probably one of the best views ever up here, especially with these binoculars. Kind of expensive, but 
Yeah, nice. Okay, so it looks like he's probably, I don't know how much he's gotten done over here. I can't really see the best. It looks like he's probably halfway done with the, with the field. Perfect. So this is going to be the end of the episode, guys. Seriously, thanks for watching. I, I appreciate it so much if you guys hit that like button. If you just say something I can improve upon too, that's always really important. Uh, something to improve upon in the role play. Feel free to leave it down below. Anyways, guys, seriously, thanks for watching again. It means so much. Uh, and hey, I'll see you next episode. Thanks, guys.